John 10.30 The Father and I are one. Philippians 2.5-6 You must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had. Though he was God, he did not think of equality with God as something to cling to. John 1.18 No one has ever seen God, but the one and only Son, who is himself God and is in closest relationship with the Father, has made him known. John 101 In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. 1 John 5.20 And we know that the Son of God has come and has given us understanding, so that we may know Him who is true, and we are in Him who is true, in His Son, Jesus Christ. He is the true God and eternal life. Romans 10.13 For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Joshua 1, 9, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Matthew 1, 21, She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. John 8, 12, When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Colossians 1.15 He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. Romans 5 per 8 But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. John 3.16 For God so loved the world, that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Hebrews 13, 8 Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. 1 Timothy 2, 5 For there is one God and one mediator between God and mankind, the man Christ Jesus. Philippians 2, 10, 11 That at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Acts 4.12 Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. John 11.25 Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. Colossians 2.9 For in Christ all the fullness of the deity lives in bodily form. Revelation 22, 20. He who testifies to these things says, Yes, I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. 2 Corinthians 5, 21. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Ephesians 2, 13. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far away have been brought near by the blood of Christ. Colossians 3, 17. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Hebrews 2.18 Because he himself suffered when he was tempted, he is able to help those who are being tempted. Matthew 28.18 Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. John 10.11 I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Acts 10.43 all the prophets testify about him that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. 1 Peter 2.24 He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. 1 Peter 1.3 Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In His great mercy, He has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. John 1.14 The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. We have seen His glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. 1 Corinthians 15.57 But thanks be to God, He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. 2 Timothy 1.9 He has saved us and called us to a holy life, not because of anything we have done, but because of His own purpose and grace. This grace was given us in Christ Jesus before the beginning of time. 
1 Corinthians 1 to 4, I always thank my God for you because of his grace given you in Christ Jesus. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, comment amen, and subscribe for more.